Hello, my name's Debbie and I'm one of the Respiratory Nurse Specialists at Asthma UK and the British Lung Foundation Partnership. I am part of a team that provides advice and support through our helpline service and our WhatsApp service to people of all ages who have asthma and other lung conditions. Every day we talk to parents of children who have a diagnosis of asthma, suspected asthma or viral wheezing. They can come to us with quick questions or more complex queries about medications and care. We are in a unique position as we can see emerging common concerns that parents have, themes and trends across the whole of the UK. With the extreme pressures of the last 18 months, we have noticed an increase in the number of parents who are unable to access an urgent GP appointment for their child when they're having symptoms. Some tell us that they've been asked to wait to see the asthma nurse at a routine review, which could be weeks ahead. And some have been told that there are no appointments available. So they call us quite worried at times, not knowing what to do. We appreciate how difficult it must be for frontline admin staff in general practice. They are often the very first point of contact when the parent contacts the practice with concerns about their child. They are not clinicians, but find themselves making really important decisions about access to care. It is vital that a parent who is worried about their child's symptoms can convey the level of urgency by using the right language, tone and support tools such as the Child Asthma Action Plan or WEAS Plan. Many parents that we speak with don't fully understand or appreciate that there is a difference between a routine scheduled appointment like an asthma review and an urgent appointment. For parents new to asthma, it could be particularly helpful to explain about appointment types so they know exactly what to ask for depending on the circumstances. There is an abundance of research to support the use of asthma action plans as an effective resource and they are a key component of good asthma care. We often hear from frustrated parents who are following their plan and can't get the appointment that their plan advises them to ask for. We advise parents to explain to the reception staff that they are following the advice that has been written in their child's asthma action plan that has been given to them and discussed with their nurse or doctor. It's important that they are able to be really clear about symptoms. For example, how much reliever their child is using, how long it is lasting, how they are feeling and how concerned they are. This can help reception staff appreciate the need for the child to be seen urgently and may prompt the appropriate safety netting advice. It is also important that the parent informs the reception team if their child has a diagnosis of severe asthma or has ever had a severe or life-threatening asthma attack or even if they've been in hospital in the last 12 months with their asthma. I always tell them to let them know if they've had a course of steroids too because all of, all of this shows that the child has had poor asthma control. This specific and relevant information should help frontline staff allocating appointments to appreciate the importance of an urgent appointment and to safety net in case they get worse while they are waiting for the appointment slot. Parents themselves sometimes don't appreciate the risk of a delay and do not fully understand the need for urgent review when their child's unwell. It may be that they don't want to bother busy practice staff and we do hear a lot of this and it could be that they're worried about being sent to hospital, particularly with coronavirus around, or they might be concerned about calling 999. Discussing symptoms and going through the child's asthma action plan in a review can help parents to feel more confident about when and where to seek help. Clear pragmatic advice which involves tips around language and tone can help them to access the right level of care in a timely way.
helping parents to be able to draw upon the available tools, the communication skills, including activating assertive language and tone, can help parents to safely manage a flare up, to take control and access the right care for their child at the right time. Thank you.